Congratulations, our cadet. You've now graduated to the next level of understanding and mastering the blending arts. But we haven't quite covered all of them yet, which is why we're here. Let's go. So if you guys haven't watched my first video on blending modes, I recommend you go do that right now because it's like really informative. I mean, really informative. This next group that we're going to be dealing with is called the difference mode. Now the difference modes are pretty cool because you can get these really trippy looking alien effects depending on what color you use. So sometimes they will invert and sometimes if you use a light or a dark color, it just creates this kind of complicated blending mode effect. So if I were to use this blue color right here and I were to go over my drawing, it kind of creates like this inverted effect where all of the colors within the illustration just totally flip. Now if I were to use a lighter color, let's say this very, very light blue, and I were to go over it just like this, and you can see the effect is even more intensified. Now if I were to use a darker color, it's interesting because it just creates this multiply effect where kind of all of the, the colors get darker and everything's more saturated. So that's the difference mode. Next up we have exclusion. Now exclusion is another blending mode where everything you do is 50% gray. So you know everything I say is 50% gray. Everything I say is half depressing. No, not really, but with exclusion, literally any color I make will literally be 50% of that color. So if I use blue, it's gonna make all of these colors on this drawing be like a 50% uh, gray. Um, also, if I use a lighter color, effect's probably gonna be more intense, just like the difference. Um, it's important to note too that this blending mode's actually pretty similar to difference. It just uses more of a gray color in combination with whatever color you're selecting. So that's exclusion. Now the next blending mode we have here is the subtract blending mode. Now the subtract blending mode is a little bit weird to explain, so bear with me. But essentially what it is is it'll invert what color you're using as well as darken your drawing at the same time. So if we use this blue color, the opposite of blue would be red. So we're going to see this red effect, plus it darkens the drawing, which is pretty cool. So if we decide to use, let's say, a green color, opposite of green is purple. So we're going to see a more purplish effect. I don't know if you can really see that on the camera, but let me see if we can try that again. Let's do a lighter purple color. Now that just makes it even darker. But yeah, that's subtract. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. It's all confusing, but this one is confusing too. So the next blending mode on our list of blending modes is the divide blending mode. Now the divide blending mode has two functions to it and it could be a little trippy, but basically the idea is whatever color you decide to use, it's gonna take the opposite of that color. So if I use that blue color, then it's gonna show up as red and it's gonna replace the highlights in my drawing. So if I wanted to use a green color, opposite of green is purple, so it's going to make my drawing purple and it's going to replace the highlights with the color. So that's divide for you. Now the second function of divide is when you use a darker color like black, it's going to completely take away all of the beautiful colors and all of the hard work that you put into your drawing. So unless you want a line art drawing and you want to destroy your art, then this is the second function of divide. No, but Divide's pretty cool. You just gotta know how to use it. Taking a moment to pause here, I'd like to say that if you guys ended up going through all of these blend modes with me, you guys are a real champion. But these are gonna be the last blending modes that we're gonna go through. Yeah, I know. But once you guys do these, you guys will be a master. Just like I said at the beginning, you guys will be pros. So this next group is gonna be called Contrast Blend Modes. And I'll explain what they do, but they're probably the most popularly used blend modes and they're really fun so let's do it now this first group of <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> mm. 
Now this first group of contrasting blending modes, as I like to call them, um, we have overlay. Now overlay is a really cool effect that you could do with your drawing. Um, it's used for highlights or glows, or if you just kind of want to add like a subtle little highlight to a drawing. But um, basically what overlay is, it has a screen effect and it has a multiply effect in combination. So let's take this light blue color and just start going over this beautiful work of art. And as you can see, it lightens the light parts of the drawing and those darker parts, the shadows are darker. So that's basically what overlay does. Um, if we use a lighter color, like let's say a light green, you can see that it has that lighting effect and then the darker parts still remain dark. So overlay is basically a combination of screen and multiply together. All right, kiddos. So this next one is called hard light. Now hard light is really a copy of overlay. It's a copy, but yeah, no, it really is. It does the exact same thing as overlay. It's a combination of multiply and screen, except the lighter you go with your color, the more screen you'll notice and the darker you go, the more multiply you notice. So let me demonstrate. So if I take this blue color and I go over this drawing, it's very bright and kind of saturated. But if I use that same color and I just darken it a little bit, just like this, then what you'll see is a much more darker version of it. Um, you could really see them multiply with the darker version. So that right there is hard light. Same thing as multiply. I mean, overlay. It's it's different based on the brighter color you choose, um, I guess is the best way to explain it. All right, so I just have to tell you this now, but I'm noticing a pattern here as I'm re-reviewing these blending modes. According to the internet, soft light is just like the other two blend modes. It's an overlay. But this soft light, to break it all down, is just a weaker version of overlay. So you're going to get that screen effect and you're going to get that multiply effect, but it's going to be dimmed down, which is great if you want like a really subtle glow or something like that. So I'll show you if I take this red color, for example, and I go over the drawing, the drawing does become a little bit tinted with red, but it's very subtle compared to the other blending modes we saw, which were like very bright and extreme. But if we use a darker color, darker red and we go over the same drawing then you're gonna see more of that multiply effect here so soft light great for soft light all right so this next blending mode is vivid light now vivid light well let me just show you first and then i'll explain someone call the fire department this guy is on fire and then when we take a dark red color dark red. Now vivid light, like I demonstrated, is very intense. So when you use a lighter color, if it's toward the lighter values, then you're going to get a very saturated color. And then when you use a darker color, you're going to get a very darker saturated color. So that's vivid light for you. So now we have linear light. Now linear light is another blending mode that's really similar to overlay. Um, except it has more to do with color dodge. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take this lighter color here and it has that very bright screen effect. And then if we take a darker color, then you could see that it becomes very dark and saturated. Um, now color dodge is used to kind of glow things up a bit. Um, you could use this to glow things up too. It's just going to be a different kind of overlay. But uh, linear light, interesting one. You know, mess around with it, you get some cool effects. So you calling me Pinhead Larry? I'm not Pinhead Larry. I'm Dirty Dan. All right, well, pin light. Had to throw in that SpongeBob reference. But <laughs> pin light is really interesting because um, what it does is if you use a lighter color, it's gonna replace uh, your darker colors. And if you use a darker color, it's gonna replace your lighter colors. So let's say we use this purple and we go over this drawing. If you look really close at his, his little collar here, 
the very light parts you can see are a light blue, which is the same as the original drawing right here. You see how that's still light blue? Well, it hasn't gone away. That light blue is still there. So what it did is it replaced the darker color, so the shadows. Now, if we use a darker color like this one, and we go over the drawing, it's gonna do the exact opposite. It's gonna replace that blue rim that we saw with purple. So it replaced the lighter parts of the drawing when we used a darker color. A um, little bit confusing, but you know, Pinhead Larry, you know, it's, it's a little bit harder to understand for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so this is the very last blending mode covering all of the 27 blending modes that we did in the previous video and in this video. So you guys did a great job if you stayed with me this whole video. Now this last one, Hard Mix, it's a hard mix. <laughs> so basically what you do is, depending on what color you choose, it's going to really just swipe away a lot of colors that you're using. So I like to think of this as like a CMYK type of thing. So basically the lighter you go, the more it'll strip away and it'll only leave blue, magenta, yellow, uh, red, all of the primary colors. It's gonna either leave that in your drawing or it's gonna revert to like a black and white. So that's kind of like the best way I can describe it. If I go a more darker color, you're gonna see that red that I left and you're gonna see a lot of black. If I even decided to switch up the colors and use a green, then you're, it's just everything's gonna be like super intense and you're only gonna see like the basic CMYK colors. But yeah, that's the best way I could describe it. Hard mix is a hard one to explain. So guys, that is it. We have covered everything. I hope that was helpful. I know this was kind of a silly video, but uh, <laughs> I just wanted to keep it entertaining for you guys and kind of just show you what I know about blending modes and stuff. So hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll be back with some more video content later for you guys to enjoy. So you'll see me again soon.